Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some bad news. I have some ants in the lawn. Yesterday I was walking around the yard spraying broadleaf uh, weed killer on a few areas and I noticed some piles of ants that seemingly have popped up overnight. Um, I had several areas to deal with. I had ants in the lawn last year that I struggled with. So this year I've got three different products that I had left over in the shed. We're gonna try each different product uh, on a few different piles. We've got them flagged, we've got them marked, and we're just gonna check back on the piles in a few days and see if any of them uh, actually work to kill the ants. So this is the first product, the Ortho Ant and Roach Killer. Uh, it claims on the label to kill by contact. And under uh, use methods, it actually says that the uh, best use is to spray directly on the insect. So that's what I was trying to do here. The uh, can itself is kind of running out. Uh, it's almost empty there, so you see me kind of struggling to get it actually onto the pile. And if it were more full, I would have liked to douse it a little heavier. The next product is Taro Ant Dust. This is a powdered formula. It claims to kill up to eight months. And directions for use uh, kind of describe more of a perimeter method, uh, probably more for a home than anything. I've applied it directly to the pile and uh, hopefully that will work equally as well. Again, it does claim to kill, not just uh, repel as a barrier. So hopefully that application method will work. I was trying to use up the product, so I went a little bit heavy and spread it kind of out towards the edges of the ant pile, just making sure to cover the entire area with a good thick coating. Oh, that little guy's enjoying his new winter wonderland. And third and finally, we have the Spectracide Ant Shield Home Barrier Granules. This is definitely marketed to be a barrier product for your home, but it does claim to start to kill in minutes. And actually in the directions, there is a spot treatment recommendation that talks about evenly sprinkling the granules over and around each ant hill and gently water the area immediately after application. So this should work just fine. So this first product is the Ortho Ant and Roach Killer. Uh, it, just looking at the pile, it looks like most of the activity is pretty much eliminated and you can't really even tell that there was an ant pile there. So the rain kind of washed it away. So I'm assuming most of the ant activity died and what was left just kind of got washed away. Next up, we have the Taro Ant Dust Pile. Definitely you can tell that it got rained on and kind of watered in. I'm just kind of, you know, poking the ground, trying to stir up the pile a little bit, just try to kind of get any activity going if there is any, but as you can see, pretty much everything uh, has quieted down. All the ants have seemingly died and, uh, or at least moved to a different area of the lawn. But uh, yeah, I, I would say this product worked just as advertised, just like uh, the ortho did. The third and final pile is the Spectracide Ant Shield product. And just like the other two, uh, it looks like it has seemingly worked. I'm gonna be poking the pile, again, trying to stir up any activity, trying to, if there's any ants alive, I wanna kind of stir them up and see, see if we've got anything. But it looks like nobody's home for now. Uh, it's hard to even tell that there was an ant pile there uh, to begin with, so. Yeah, this product worked awesome, just like the other two. So my ant piles are actually looking pretty good right now. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of activity, but again, I, I think most of that is because it's been kind of raining, kind of wet, and you know, that kind of drives them down deeper. It is Memorial Day weekend though, and I normally do some sort of bug preventative. There's two areas in my lawn that uh, I've had some issues with moles and stuff, so I feel like grubs are, are kind of an issue. Uh, so I got a little bit of uh, Scott's Grub X that we'll be putting down. And then uh, to kind of, as a preventative maintenance, I got some Ortho Bug Be Gone that we're going to hit the whole yard with. So again, we hit all the ant piles. 
uh, as kind of uh, to deal with the existing bugs that, that are going on right now. And then we're also going to uh, just kind of surface treat the whole yard. So here's what that ortho product looks like. Uh, I saw this at Home Depot. I've never used it before, uh, but this is what we're trying. Uh, I got three bags of it here. So I put this on the entire front lawn as a preventative maintenance. And what I was most intrigued by was our little ant friends here are pictured right on the front there, along with a host of other bugs that uh, we don't want in the yard. So this will treat up to 10,000 square feet. Again, this, uh, the spreader setting is very similar to the Scott Scrub X, which is right here and looks like this. So we have both products down. Both products do need to be watered in. So I am looking at the forecast and hoping for rain, which should be happening tonight. So we're using a Scott spreader. Uh, it recommends three and a half right there. So this is a spreader here. And we are good to go. So here's the condition of the spreader after we're done spreading. As you can see, it's totally covered in powder and residue from both products. The spreader down here, again, totally caked. Not, not good. So folks, if you wanna keep your tools nice, it's very important to give this a quick rinse afterwards. I think I've got my bug problem taken care of for now. We tried three different products on three different uh, piles out in the yard, existing piles, active piles, piles that had uh, lots of activity going on in them. And each product seemed to reduce the activity almost down to nothing, almost. Uh, so again, I, I, think, I think the rain kind of played into that just a little bit. Uh, but we'll kind of see how it goes and then we use the ortho bug be gone to really kind of do a preventative treatment across the entire lawn so i'm hoping that this is uh, kind of the end of my bug problems we threw down two bags of grub x2 also again season long preventative uh, measures if you wait bef uh, until you see the damage you're kind of uh, too late there so that should protect us all season long the bug be gone supposed to be a three month deal as well so we'll wait for more piles to come up, but uh, yeah, I'm going to assume that they are taken care of for now. If you have a favorite ant product that works awesome for you, I'm in Minnesota, so any kind of you know Midwest uh, type of location, if you have a, a, a favorite ant product that you have really good results with, please let me know about it in the comments. I will definitely pick some up and definitely try it. And if they come back, I'll make another video, but for now, we are good to go. Thanks for watching.